Hey Retro Movie fans, my name is Retro Movie Girl and today I have a review for you. It is Collision Point. It's a Brutal Force novel by, by Lauren Lee. What Brutal Force is, is it is classified, it's not classified on the back of the book, but it actually is suspense romance. What it revolves around is a man named Reardon and a lady named Amira. Amira, is, Amira Rostova is a, she's the daughter of a criminal, the daughter of a mobster from Russia, and she's recently been kidnapped, beaten, her hair's been shorn off, cut off, short, and she was tortured and beaten and not a lot of good things happened, but she was rescued from a certain death by Raritan and his crew, the Brutal Force crew, and his brother are uh, with um, Elite Ops. Elite Ops operation was established. Her father wanted her to be rescued from these bad, bad people, and she was rescued, and not everything is going well after the rescue. Raritan is supposedly dead, she doesn't remember them having a romantic relationship, everything is upside down and gone to hell in a handbasket. But what is unique about this story is that she doesn't remember anything past meeting Reardon after she gets, after she gets rescued. She doesn't remember that he was part of her security team, he, she only, well, she does remember that part, but she doesn't remember them being lovers. She doesn't remember anything. And Reardon is shot and supposedly killed after after the mission is completed. And while they're trying to get her out of the area, she's being um, vacked by a helicopter out of the area. And in the process of this, Reardon is shot and almost sees the end of his life is almost killed. But what's, what is unique about this is that she goes back six months, I think six months after the, the, the recovery and everything took place, and she goes back to find him, because for some strange reason she keeps having these dreams about him and everything, and it's just like a really confusing time. There's a lot of banter, there's a lot of don't you lie to me. I know you remember this when in reality she remembers almost nothing before she remembers things before her abduction her life before her abduction but anything past the day and the action of the abduction she remembers absolutely nothing and Redding kind of pokes at her and says things to her like I know you remember me I know you know we were lovers or whatever this is and I'll protect you I'll come back and be head of your security again so they are dealing with that and she's not exactly sure how to feel and the whole time she's gone she's having these erotic sexy dreams about him and also the dreams about losing him there are nightmares dreams and just really weird things happening the same thing is happening to Reardon when he's trying to recover from his um, from his ordeal of being almost shot, of being shot and almost killed, he's trying to recover. He's having the same thoughts and dreams, and he's become maladjusted and angry that all he can think about is this woman that he wants, and he's been calling her, and they've been saying she doesn't want to talk to you, and all this stuff is happening. But when I get back, I'll tell you all about my favorite scene from Collision Point. My favorite scene from Collision Point is the part where after the after the rescue has taken place and every everything is not exactly status quo and she's looking for Reardon and looking and she goes to find him in Texas. And she finds him but he's not the he's like this wild, almost jungle version of himself. And by the time it's a really 
interesting scene. He comes in on like this, literally, the stallion. I don't know if you all remember, there was a movie by the name of Spirit, I think it was, directed by Steven Spielberg or created by Steven Spielberg, something like that. But it was a movie about a horse that couldn't be tamed. And there's a scene where this Indian boy tries to tame him and ends up riding the wild bucking horse all through the all through the meadow and jumping over things and it's just extraordinary to watch the jumping and, and he's leaning forward and leaning back and all, all, all of these interesting moves. Anyway, it's the same thing. It's the same kind of scene from Spirit, except it, you don't actually see it because it's not a movie. It's a book, but, but that's what it reminds me of. The way that he comes in is just the way the Indian came in with the intentions of riding the wild horse that had never been tamed before. I guess it had never been tamed before, but it's a really, really high impact. The way he en enters the scene, his grandpa says, "Well, his grandpa is, you know, the person that really raised him to be the man he is." And his grandpa says, after she comes, his grandpa says, "He'll be here in a few minutes." Oh, that that he coming in on the wild horse. He'll be there in in, in a minute but if you've seen spirited or i think you should really watch spirited just for that scene but i th i think it's a really dynamic entrance and it's the most dynamic entrance i've ever seen a character in in um suspense romance make i know there's a lot of ways you could enter enter a scene but i think that's the most dynamic way and, and it really 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 stuck out in my mind, you know? But it's, it, it's, a, dang, it's a book about danger, rely, relying on the person you love and trusting people. But for me, all that is like, not irrelevant, but you could read that in any suspense romance. But the way that he enters back into her life on the wild horse, it just really stuck out in my mind and that's why it comes up as my favorite scene because it's a scene that well I, I never seen that before I never seen like people ride up on wild horses before so that's why it sticks out and that's why it made my favorite scene and um I'll have all the information for Laura Laura Lee and her website and all that stuff as I usually do and this is the end of my review of Collision Point Brutal For a Brutal Force novel this is actually book one so I'll talk to you in my very next video make sure you comment subscribe and like this video and I'll talk to you in my next video bye